Hi everybody, another great, great day here in Washington, D.C. And today I'm here with Neil Donovan, who's the executive director for the National Coalition for the Homeless. We're a, a national advocacy organization facilitating having homeless people speak for themselves. And that's so awesome because really that's what Invisible People TV does is empower homeless people to tell their own story. Who are you? I'm Lost Awareness. Are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> nice to meet you. You started following me and I go, Lost Awareness, that has to be a homeless advocate. So I said, what's your story? You tweeted back to me, check out Path Achieve. I called them, they actually took me in, and that was in less than seven days after eight months of struggling face to face with people that were truly trying to help. Communication among homeless individuals and from homeless individuals to the larger community is essential. And right now there are critical barriers to it happening. There are not seats available at all of the decision-making tables in this country. So until that happens, communication has to happen in a variety of different ways. The most expedient way is through social media. This is my friend R.D. R.D., you want to tell you your, a little bit about your story and, and what you tweet? Real simple. Without Twitter, I would not be standing here right now. I would be sleeping on the streets. I think what's important about what, what you're doing and other advocates at the local level is that you're getting back to the grassroots. How are you? Hi, how are you? You feel like telling your story? What you want to hear? My name is Mark. I know. Just want to know what's going on. How did you end up homeless? I have problems at home. I feel like I, I get love out in the streets than when I get love at home. So I choose hope. Get more love homeless than you do in your, with your family. Wow. We are getting at the local people and telling them that once again, you are in charge, you are the people who are going to end homelessness. And I think we're finding, fortunately because of competitive failures, that we need to get back to the grassroots and that is where we're going to solve and end homelessness. Wow. Whoa! This is your address. Um, an address. Yes, wow. this is your address and apartment number two. Yes. It's even legible. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I'm messed up. Many of you know uh, RD, and uh, I met Shalene, who runs an organization called Skip One. Shalene was very proactive in wanting to help somebody get off the streets. I think what Mark is doing not only has potential, but it is recognizing its potential. I think it's got a lot of room for growth. These are the people, you and these folks, who are going to solve homelessness. 